I just got a package from Mexico. Anybody want to take a guess what's inside? Somebody from the audience yells, small birdcage. No, no, it's not a small birdcage. But I respect the fact that you were thinking outside the box as we're about to have a look at what's inside the box. Uh, I ordered these off of eBay. And if anybody has perhaps lingered around and checked out my video, by the way, of the bootleg Mexican horror figures that I had a look at, oh, I wanna say last year at some point, this probably will be giving you a slight hint a little tiny hint as to what we are going to be having a look at inside. I found these on eBay, likely paid a little bit more for them than really what they're worth, and uh, it took a very long time for them to ship. I want to say it took about three months for these to finally arrive. I know, anticipation is building. Let's open it up. I've already cut the box because I didn't know what it was. Being, of course, three months of time has surpassed, passed itself through. I forgot all about these, and then I opened it up and I realized quickly, oh, right, yeah, I ordered these. I was immediately treated to all these little stabbing and cutting tools. Okay, that might be some indication. Anybody want to take a guess yet? There's a baseball bat. No, does that help? How about a small hammer? Or a little switchblade? Anybody yet? I think, I think a few of you smart viewers probably know what this is. This is... I'm going to pull it out without damaging the plastic. <laughs> yeah, damaging the plastic. This is a set called Municos. Or I think that's what they're called. Thank goodness they're not recommended for ages 0 to 3. I don't really think they're recommended for anybody due to likely the material and or the paint. Paint is probably the more devastating thing that was used for these. Thank goodness it was made with recyclable materials. I don't know if that's the figures or if that's the packaging, which, by the way, let me just tell you, this packaging is terrible. This packaging looks like it was made out of human tears. It feels like there's very little keeping it together. And even just taking it out, I feel like the packaging is disintegrating on me as we speak. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Ah, dropped some more weapons. Now, I thought to ring this, to ring that, this video in style... I was going to do one other thing. Let me just reach off camera here. I ordered myself Mexican Coca-Cola. I kid you not. It's product of Mexico right down there. Apparently, product of Mexico also means that it's only containing carbonated water, cane sugar, caramel color, phosphoric acid, natural flavors, and, of course, caffeine. And... Uh, it's in a nice glass bottle. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Look at all what we're doing here. We're having a look at bootleg figures. We're drinking ourselves Mexican Coca-Cola. And we're about to open it up with a Jason Voorhees. Or I did a review of this. The Jason Voorhees bottle opener. So I'm going to open this up. Pop the lid off. First things first. I'm going to give this a try. It has not expired. It's good till May 29th, 2019. I also noticed that the bottle, I don't know why I feel so compelled to keep doing this, that the bottle is a slight greenish tint. Likely that's not the liquid inside, instead that's the glass, as you can see there. But let's give this a try, and then we'll dabble into some Mexican bootleg child's play figures, first having a look and starting this review with Mexican Coca-Cola. Here we go. I noticed it's a bit smoother. You'll notice that there's not a whole lot of carbonation to it either. I mean, I, I popped the cap. You were there. I'd like to think you were there. But there's very little to no carbonation at all. It's decent Coke, though. I'm going to put this over here. I'm not certainly forgetting about it, but we want to get ourselves, get our fingers in this. We're going to have a look at these Municos. Now, I have absolutely no idea what I paid for these, but I can probably tell you after exchange, conversion, you know, conversion exchange to Canadian funds, because I'm here in Canada, eh? Uh, shipping, brokerage fees, and all that other good stuff. This is probably worth, this is probably about five times what these are actually worth. Probably even ten times. 
but we're gonna open these up and uh, let's first have a look at these trinkets. Can we, we'll call them trinkets. These little weapons that came included with them. Because after all, I mean, if you're gonna have child's play figures, even at the caliber that these ones are, you're gonna at least want weapons for these. As you can see, they've all been cast in a, a mold. Uh, there, they are the knives here. Here's a couple of knives. I guess I could take these off. It feels like they're made out of black licorice. There's one side, there's the other side. I mean, other than black paint, or it's just black plastic, that's as much as you're going to get from these weapons. I guess you have extra weapons. <laughs> like, you would use these. <laughs> you would never use these. Are you, who are you kidding? Uh, I was going to say, at least you have some weapons for some of your other figures, but uh, you can see, like, the quality of them are not spectacular. I sort of kind of enjoy buying bootleg figures, at least horror bootleg figures, on the internet, the interweb. Not to say that all of them are originating from Mexico. I'm just strict, st strictly stressing for the fact that these ones I ordered from Mexico. But, I mean, really, they, you can get them from different places, I'm sure. But as soon as I see a listing for these, I seem to just flock to them like seagulls to bird crumbs. There's a pistol. There's a small knife, slightly bent. I guess we don't really need to keep need to take these all off. They all look like they've been in a horrible house fire. Look at the state of these. Put those right over there. What else do we have in here? This one's by itself. Oh, here's Chucky's hand. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell that that's Chucky's hand, other than for the fact that we know it's Chucky's hand. It's very dis distortedly stretched and mangled. Supposed to peg into his hand. <laughs> We're going to see if we can try that. What else we have in here? Now, I'm not going to give away everything just off the bat, but I do want to tell you guys I ordered a second set of these. No, not, not these specifically, but a second set of bootleg or knockoff. You can call them knockoff if you want. I don't even know what I'm going to call in the title, but uh, non-legit. We'll call those, how about non-legit horror figures? And uh, they've arrived, so expect a video of those to come as well. A cleaver, a small knife, also still kept on the molded, uh, I don't know what you would call this, just that, this, and all that stuff. I know, I know, I know, everybody's yelling. Let's get to the figures, get to the figures. Let's quickly get through the rest of these. There's a switchblade, there's the hammer, we already looked at those. And what's this one? Oh, right, yeah, the mangled baseball bat. I suppose it's still swingable, although it's not going to be swinging straight. Feels like it's made out of black licorice. Very shiny, by the way, as well. Then we have all of our Chucky figures. Now, you can tell clearly that these are all taken from the ultimate, the NECA Toys Ultimate Chucky, with all the various head sculpts. This kind of works out well that if you were looking to get a Child's Play Chucky with all the various heads and simply just didn't want to buy four Ultimate NECA Freddy, uh, NECA Chuckies, you really can get all of them from this set with all their various head sculpts. Here's the rest of the packaging. Municos, I don't know. We'll just put that to the side. And we'll have a look at the figures. Now, as you can see, I mean, the bodies are all identical to one another. Somebody was creative enough to at least paint them differently so that they all looked sort of different from one another. This one here, I guess, well, you know what, we'll start with one. We'll kind of work our way. You know what, we'll start with this one because this is your traditional good guys. Ooh! Good guys, good guys doll. Look at that. Hey, welcome to your nightmares tonight, my friends. I love the the added. It's it's the extra little love you can see that paint was put into via like putting bloodshot red around the eyes. See, because somebody would probably say, well, you know, uh, all the detailing here is in the eyes. You really want to make that the focal point. Okay, well, what's the best way to make it a focal point? How about putting giant circles of blood? around the eyes. Paint is crude, but it's kind of got a charm to it that I could be so difficult at, at trying to convince you of. It's got this charm that I find I'm interested in, and I'm so compelled to continue to buy this stuff, despite the fact that I know it looks like garbage. I mean, 
I mean, we could circle around the topic all we want, but they don't look like they're the greatest. They're not certainly in the greatest state. Articulation on all of these seem to be just leg swivels back and forth, arms rotating, and heads rotating back and forth. I will also be sanitizing my hands after this review, so if anybody was worried about that. Uh, yeah, paint. Paint on this one is really crude. I guess I would call this sky blue. Sky blue Chucky. It's got some green and some red in there as well. I mean, I mean, they didn't just simply sit on, well, we want to just use blue and blue alone. Oh, it looks on the back. They have that little checkerboard, little splots of polka dots happening there. Apparently, Chucky has been walking through a lake of blood. That's the only thought I have, as I see completely red stained boots carrying up the pant leg as well. I mean, it's the, like I said, it's the exact same mold. Oh, by the way, where is that accessory? Where? Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah, good luck. Yeah, that's 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 not going there anytime soon. I guess unless you cut that off, stuck that in place, somebody's yelling, "Oh, hey, no, no, no. Don't be damaging this these works of art by severing off pieces and putting them in there." Anyways, you can see like the arm isn't going to work. Oh, is there a hinge? <laughs> no, there's no hinge. Get a load of this guy. Is there a hinge? There's there's no hinge. So there's this one. What do we want to call this one? Lucky. We're just call him Lucky. Or blood. So oh, we're gonna call him Blood Eyes. Blood Eyes Chucky. There we go. Moving along, we have. I guess this is sort of now possessed Chucky. You can see that he's now starting to sport a receding hairline. He's ditched, apparently, blood-soaked eyes in favor of being overly... Looks like looks like he's crying. Are you crying? I think I should be crying for the fact that I spent the money to buy these. Once again, blood-soaked boots. That's... I mean, is it on all of them? Well, these ones have them as well, but at the very least, they painted. See, more detail and care, I think, was put into these two. At the very least, you can see they painted the undersoles white. These ones are relegated only to blood, just blood boots, blood shoes. Uh, there would have been something in there. You can just see that the red's just been smeared across there. And once again, polka dots. Polka dots, I think, is the key to a successful looking figure. This one's got a lot more stripes happening. I mean, versus this one right here. They've ditched the sky blue in favor of a, almost like a bluish gray. That, looks nice a nice complimentary color I mean fashion is one thing I could certainly say that these painters I mean certainly not the designers but at the very least the painters done a pretty good job distinguishing these from one another again nothing really to be writing home about when it comes to uh, what you can do with these figures I mean that's it that's it that's it and that's it can you at least get one of their weapons in their hands uh, let's see if I can small, find a... Well, you know what? We'll go with the hammer. Why not? We'll go with the hammer. Take that off of its... I think they're called accessory trees. There we go. Put that in his hand. Does he hold it? Somewhat. I mean, as good as one could manage at holding a hammer that's made out of black licorice. This one I'm going to call Weeping Chucky. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. I know you've seen better days. It just looks like his hair is just made out of tar. Poor guy. Poor, poor guy. I'm surprised he even found a woman looking at this state. Tiffany apparently looks way past looks. It wasn't a looks sort of thing. He, Chucky had a good personality. All right, so then we move on to this one. Now, it looks like he's being attacked by gummy worms. Doesn't it look like he's got gummy worms all over his face? And apparently giant freckles. Somebody, somebody is thinking outside the box when it came to painting this guy. Well, we need you just to paint the flesh tone on his face. Color his hair, of course, orange. And then get to work on the coveralls. And that person stopped back and looked at their figure for a second and said, You know, no, 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 I'm going to do something more to this. I'm going to leave, I'm going to put my own little touch on this. I'm going to give him gummy worms on his face and big giant freckles. And then somebody's going to say, hey, Gary worked on this. Hey, Gary, you work on this one? He just kind of looks up at the lunchroom while he's eating his sandwich. <laughs> big smile on his face. Oh, Gary. 
you and your gummy worms. They're always about the gummy worms. Uh, by contrast, here's the here's the two. Yeah, oof. Step up. Would you not say a step up from this one? This one right here. I mean, again, same figure, different interpretations. Two different artists working behind their own canvases. And it shows, you know, it's that distinct. Every snowflake is different. Every bootleg Chucky is also very different from one another. That's a myth, by the way. Snowflakes aren't different from one another. They think they debunked that later on, later on in the science. That was what science managed to do last decade. Uh, yeah, posability on this guy. Head rotates once again. Arms, legs, no waist. Nothing, nothing in the waist. Are you kidding me? Get out of here, Mr. Waist articulation. This guy doesn't know waist articulation. You're never going to get waist articulation on these guys. Anyways, there's the three figures. Somebody's screaming, well, what about the fourth figure? What about the fourth figure? We're getting to the fourth figure. I just wanted to put them up. Just get them to stand up. You know what this tells me? I'm looking at all these. Tells me I need myself a Coke break. Hold on a sec. I'm just going to... Coke. Not very carbonated though. Anyways, and then we move on to the last Chucky, who looks like he's been made out of plasticine. I mean, here, this person, this person kind of, I don't know, maybe it's the same artist that worked on this one. You can see that they painted around the good guys, not just <laughs> splotched, <laughs> just right across the front there. Maybe it's the same artist, I don't know. Although I'm starting to see freckles here. Freckles, Gary, Gary, is that you, Gary? You can see this is the Chucky that of course is missing half his face. It's also to note as well that, yeah, oh look, look the hair comes off. I was just looking at that, I'm thinking, wow, I wonder if the hair came off. We all learned something new today. I think probably most of the lessons that everybody has learned from this video is don't buy figures like this. What can I say? It's just my thing. It's what I like doing. Uh, of course, this one has similar striping to this one, making me, again, leading me to believe that Gary has worked on this one. Polka dots apparently still was a requirement. There was a quota on polka dots. Some foreman's walking around. Foreman walking around. Just kind of patting his face, looking at all the individual artists painting away their Chuckies. Stops for a second, looks down. Hey, Mark. Uh, yeah, can't help but notice you don't have enough polka dots on your Chucky. Yeah, but I don't know, do we really need so many polka No, 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 you're not in the business of asking, do we need enough polka dots? You're in the business of just making sure that Chucky has enough polka dots. And enough polka dots is certainly what he's got here. The, uh, the paint, I mean, the plastic at the very least is good. I mean, it's not flimsy feeling okay well it's somewhat flimsy feeling plastic but at least it's it doesn't feel like a dog toy don't by all means give this to your dog anyways i mean between the harmful materials used in the plastics not to mention the type of paint that was likely used don't be giving it to any dog don't be giving it to really anybody just live vicariously through this video uh, but yeah i mean yeah they are what they are, I mean, they're not spectacular, but there's something rather charming about these. More and more, I find myself so compelled that as I look onto eBay, I actually look up at times horror bootlegs or horror knockoff figures. I just happened to stumble across these. Probably paid a lot more than I needed to pay for these. That one doesn't want to stand. You know what? Just lay down. Just lay down. Probably spent a little bit more on these than what I needed to spend. But at the end of the day, I think what we walk away with, what we can walk away with, is we all had a good time. I think what I remember the most out of all of this is I'll remember the laughter. And I'll remember Gummy Worms Chucky. All thanks to Gary. Hey, Gary, was that you? Yeah, it was Gary. Today we were doing something... Uh, well, not regular content on this channel, but we're certainly having some fun. I'd like to think we were having some fun. Checking out some knockoff Nekatoy Freddy's, or Freddy's, Chucky's. I don't know why I'm thinking Freddy. I think it's because the last time we looked at knockoffs, Freddy Krueger was certainly one of them. 
I can't even remember what the other set that I picked up and has been delivered, whether that contained a Freddy. I'll have to go back and have a look. That's the thing. You just order these things. Months go by. You start doing other things with your life. And then sure enough, a box shows up and you don't know why. Well, now I know why. And you know why as well. Uh, by the way, if you guys haven't checked out that other knockoff horror figure video that I've done, by all means, feel free. I could technically put them all into a bootleg knockoff playlist. I guess if everybody wants to go back and check those out. And of course, we are going to be having a look at another one of these in an upcoming video. Something to look forward to, I guess. Make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button, certainly down below, Bunkos, because like I said, more videos, not necessarily of the knockoff variety, but more videos will be coming soon to this channel. So stay tuned for that. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Gary, was that you? That was you, Gary.